my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes this is lecture number 115 in this particular lecture we will try to understand fibonacci retracement in google i typed fibonacci retracement what am i getting just see fibonacci retracement is a technical analysis tool used to identify potential support and resistance levels means it is basically useful for identifying support and resistance levels in financial markets it is based on fibonacci sequence we will see what is fibonacci sequence and its ratios which are believed to represent natural proportions found in various aspects of nature and markets this is important it is, uh, it is it has got applications not only stock market it has got application in nature also yes this is uh, anyway we will see how it works even you can see here fibonacci retracement levels what are those re retracement levels 61.8 uh, 38.2 23.6 up to which a stock can retrace before it resume the original directional move then anyway we will try to understand these numbers also before i discuss about this one just i am going to tradingview.com in which i opened a chart whose chart this is oil and natural gas corporation ongc here you can see these type of lines here there are different indicators let me uh, let me select fibonacci fib retracement if i select and let me draw this downtrend one from top to till this bottom just yes till this bottom i uh, i have drawn till this bottom yes just just check it out here what am i getting just see 0.236 level what is the price 240 rupees there is the 0.38 here you are getting price also 0.236 means 23.6 that is price is 23 237.6 for this may be work as support or resistance 0.38 to 258 rupees this works as support or resistance 0 0.5 0.618 0.781 like, like this anyway we will try just try to i this is downtrend even you can say you can draw this uptrend also you, you will find fibonacci retracement with these ratios you will get you will get corresponding price also those prices can act as support or resistance that is the basic idea that is the basic idea behind it anyway just let me go to this presentation and let me check this one this is fibonacci retracement even if you want you can check that one is charting.com also there are several websites which explains about this fibonacci retracement just uh, this number 0 1 0 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 5 8 means this is summation of previous two numbers 5 is summation of 2 plus 3 and 8 is summation of 5 plus 3 you might have seen this uh, in many places for example randomly i am taking 21 number 21 by next number 34 this is 61.0.6776 means i can treat it as 61 point just say this is 61.8 is one uh, ratio this is 61.76 means i can treat it as 61.8 almost 61.8 in similar manner same this 21 i am taking dividing with 55 and i will get 38.18 that uh, you can check here this 38.18 can be treated as 38.2 here you can see this one just see this one in similar manner 21 is my I, I randomly i have chosen this 21 21 by 89 that is 0 0.2359 that is 23 point i can say this is 23.6 just say this is 23.6 there is a logic behind it uh, uh, how you can derive all these numbers uh, even in um, in google also we have seen so many natural phenomena this is sunflower it, it has got some this spiral structure like this there is some historical there is some 
historical perspective leonardo uh, there are so mona lisa picture looks like uh, this goes some golden ratio sort of things i don't want to go into deep uh, as it is not that relevant let just uh, even it is useful for checking whether uh, p- there is a possibility of entering into bear market let me say this is the chart of my uh, stock prices let me say th- there is a sharp growth here if i draw fibonacci ratios 61.8 50, 50 this i will get these ratios once if it is uh, in downtrend if it is if it is uh, if it is uh, crosses this golden ratio this 61.8 is known as golden ratio if it is crosses i can say there is a possibility of entering this market into bear market even you can see this one if this is uptrend it is going uptrend and again pull back again you are getting an uptrend again pull back again up trend means here you are finding support and resistance levels your fibonacci ratios are useful fibonacci retracement is a technical tool used to identify potential reversal levels in financial market just you can see in the previous diagram after pulling back you are getting reversal for for that that's what it says it is based on which numbers fibonacci sequence key ratios are these are the key ratios 23.6 38.2 which we have seen these percentages represent possible support and resistance levels that is important these percentages represent possible re- means corresponding prices you can check they they acts they, they may act as support and resistance level it is identify they are helpful for understanding entry and exit positions they are useful for keeping stop losses uh, stop loss orders and price targets works well with other indicators like rsi macd and uh, trend line they are widely used in uptrend and downtrends these are the levels 23.6 means what is the mean this is minor correction shallow pullback i can as it is minor correction as it is minor correction we are saying that it is shallow pullback that's what it says just see this one actually just see this one 23.6 i can say it is a shallow pullback that is minor correction if it is 38.2 that's a moderate correction 50% means common retracement level 61.8 golden ratio that's what i'm uh, we discussed strong support and resistance this is a place yes 78.6 means i can say it is deep replacement before reversal these ratios and there are the corresponding meanings how to draw fibonacci retracement identify strong price moves swing high to swing low vice versa and in in uptrend draw from low to high in downtrend draw from high to low isn't it to the tool will automatically plot retracement levels that's what we have seen look for for price reaction at these levels means at uh, this uh, um, pri- at uh, fibonacci ratio levels just for try to see the price levels so that you can understand your uh, support levels and resistance levels just see here also we have seen or uh, rsi you can use rsi with fibonacci uh, that is useful for identifying overbought and oversold condition macd with fibonacci trend strength and entry points candlestick pattern reverse confer- reversal confirmation near fibonacci levels trend lines and volumes additional confirmation just see here you can see all these levels how to do it all those things anyway we discuss those things this this is the this one is in in uptrend what happens it is going and a pull back and it's moving and pull back and moving pull back these are known as what is this these are known as retracements actually uh, the, um, that's what not always limitations what are the limitations of fibonacci retracement not always accurate false signals possible works best in trending markets not sideways ones uh, it needs confirmation with other tools this is about uh, here i can say uptrend this is uh, this is related to uptrend just see this is related to pull back here this is downtrend downtrend here this is known as short rally isn't it this is downtrend related thing and fibonacci retracement is a valuable tool for identifying potential support and resistance it is effective when used with other indicators not a standard alone strategy better to use it um, with other indicators you use it as a part of broader trading system i request all of you just check different chart patterns and some and and spend some time and draw this fibonacci ratios and try to analyze their limited also try to understand this fibonacci retracement uh, 
limitations not only its strength also in order to overcome that limitation just try to make use these retracement levels with other indicators which i discussed till now this is so simple so straightforward lecture thank you so much